Hi, I'm Andre from the Vale of Randomness and today I'll be looking at the Blue Yeti USB microphone. This is the Blue Yeti USB microphone. It comes in blackout, whiteout, cool grey, midnight blue and this one, silver. The microphone is locked into position on a weighted stand with rubber grips on its base which means you won't find this mic sliding from your table anytime soon. Two adjustable knobs on both sides can be altered so that the Blue Yeti can be positioned at the desired angle. Make sure you tighten the knobs sufficiently just to ensure that the Blue Yeti doesn't fall forward or back. The mic's free condenser capsules means that there isn't a situation that I found that the Blue Yeti can't handle. On the front of the mic there's a volume dial and a mute button which is shown by the flashing red light. To unmute, simply press the mute button again. The red light also functions as an indicator to let you know that the microphone has power, which is particularly useful when plugging your mic into a mobile or tablet. On the rear of the microphone, with the gain dial, you can adjust the sensitivity of the microphone, which can be particularly useful if you're doing ASMR, for example. And in this case, the gain would be increased to make the mic more sensitive to even the quietest of sounds. The pattern selection dial, which refers to the four pickup patterns that the Blue Yeti is capable of. Stereo, which picks up sound from both the left and right and would be best for ASMR content. Omnidirectional, which accepts sound coming from all directions, front, back and sides. This is good for multi-person interviews and event recording. Cardioid, which only picks up sound coming from the front and rejects all sound coming in from other directions. Good for voiceovers like this. And bidirectional, which picks up sound from both the front and the back of the Blue Yeti. This would be good usually in face-to-face -face recordings, for example. Here's just a quick example of how adjusting the gain can up the sensitivity. Now, with, I'll do one from low sensitivity, medium, and high sensitivity with a piece of celery. So, low sensitivity. medium sensitivity and high sensitivity what we do for the job eh? yeah <laughs> because the Blue Yeti can pick up sounds from multiple directions and at different sensitivities, this gives you the option to not have to get extra microphones. On the bottom of the microphone, there is a 3.5mm jack that you can listen to exactly what's being recorded by the microphone. The mini USB slot, via the appropriate cable to your phone or computer, is used for power and data connectivity. The output sound is fully compatible with programs such as Audacity. I've made another video which I'll link here and in the description which shows you how to connect the mic to an iPhone or iPad because in the instructions that come with the mic it doesn't actually say that these devices can be connected to an iPhone or iPad but I'll show you that they can be. I'm doing it right now. The thread slot allows you to attach the Blue Yeti to any studio mount arm if you want a bit of flexibility to where the mic is positioned when you record. At this point, you would need to remove the microphone from its stand before connecting to the mount. I've noticed that when putting the Blue Yeti back on its stand, it can be a bit tricky at times to get the dial, washer, and microphone in the right place, but you'll get used to it after a few attempts. The Blue Yeti is used in its upright position and receives sound from its sides. This is known as side address, as opposed to top address, where those sort of microphones receive sound from the top only. This is used in a lot of handheld microphones. I've been using the mic for a while now and I feel like it's improved my audio quality and it's also given me the flexibility of my studio setup and also it looks good too. If you're looking for a microphone that gives you great audio quality and is value for money then I would personally recommend this, the Blue Yeti USB microphone. If you have any questions about the Blue Yeti just leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe as well. And while you're at it, don't forget to press the bell icon to receive notifications when I post new videos. Anyway, that's all for me today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.